like what are those what's up everyone it's fast and welcome back to another episode of shadow run dragon Four. so last time we were trying to help glory put to put an end to a past we're in a like a really really weird place right now so we're just gonna hop right into it and this thing we're battling the devil or something like that let's get there okay get to the door open the door yep Martha how you doing yeah there's the red hair the woman in the room is lovely full lips construct artful with her fine elvish features and a tumble of fine red hair spills down her, over her shoulders beyond her physical beauty there's something inherently approachable about her she is an almost palpable hour of kindness and warmth Martha glory all over the lure arrow used to uh, draw her and so many others to feel still. She looks up with a start of the sound of approach. Her eyes go wide at the sight of Glory as she takes in a cyber where her mouth falls open in horror. Glory? Yes, Martha is me. It's been a long time. It has. Glory, what have you done to yourself? What I had to do. I got out, Martha. This was the only way. Oh, Glory, I'm so sorry. Martha steps forward, her arms extend to wrap Glory in a hag. All at once, something in Glory face changes. Her skin goes from pale to pallid, and her breath becomes raging. She takes a step back and raises her claws into a defensive posture. Don't you touch me. You were one of Haru's creatures. You always were. One of his creatures? Glory, what are you talking about? Hmm. You aren't fooling on. And Glory has told me all about you. Are you tricked into coming here? I didn't trick anyone. Haru and I rescued her from her life on the street. Beautiful girl, homeless, penniless, living in a gather. I pulled her away from all of that. I saved her. You saved me? Save me? If you left me where you found me, I would have... I never would have hurt anybody. Her mother would still be alive. I never would have sold my soul to that abomination that you all worship. And I wouldn't have had to sacrifice my own body to escape from it. His place took everything from you, and it all started with you. Miss Glory, please calm down, and we'll talk uh, this through. I still love you. Another lie, the last one you will ever tell. I don't think that she's lying, or at least she doesn't think so. She believes what she's saying. That's because it's true. I'll prove it to you. Ask me anything you want. I'll show you that I'm telling the truth. I never wanted anything bad to happen to you, Glory. Not ever. Why are you listening to her? She's just telling you what you want to hear. That's her whole purpose here. Remember, she's bait. Why should we listen to anything that she has to say? Mm. The cultist are responsible for their actions, remember? That's as true for Martha as it is for anyone else. She was here long before I was, before Haru started using the shrine. She made her own decisions just like I did. No excuse. She's here because she wants to be. She brought me here because she wanted to. Her choice. That might have been true then, but she's living under the shrine influence for a long time now. She's no more in control on herself than anyone else here he is. And she's been compelled to lie to us. Accept that. It doesn't mean that we should trust her. We're wasting time and we need that key. If Haru gets back here before we deal with that shrine, we're fucked. I want to know everything um, uh, we can about this place if she wants to talk later. Alright, Master, start walking. Wait, what do you want me to say? You can start by telling me how you sleep at night. You know what happens to the keys that you bring here. You know what happens to me. But you're still luring them here into hell or scratches all these years. So tell me, how do you live with yourself? Explain it to me. Hmm. You can see conflict behind her eyes, a cognitive dissonance at her face, it would be her confused, fright and angry. A war with herself, okay? Why are you asking me this, Glory? You already know the answers. The kids here, they're being hurt. They aren't being hurt. They're, they're walking the path to the free and pure life just like Arlo told us. The shrine is whispering to her, Glory. I can feel it too. She's blissed out on it, like you said. Harry is a great man, prophet. Okay, true sacrifice be made, but what he brings in return is so much low glory you remember. Yeah, yeah, you're right. After so many years living here, 
I don't know if she even knows what normal feels like anymore. Martha, if what you're saying is true, if you ever really care for me, then please give me your key. It's important. Key? Whatever, you used to get past the words outside the Haru shrine. I need it. Don't ask why. Just do this for me. You owe me that much. No, Aro said that I had to guard this. He told me that I could never take it off. I can't ask question. I can't question one of Aro's orders. It would be wrong. You questioned him about what he's planning on doing with those inmates back there? Was that wrong? That was different. Wouldn't understand. Then maybe you could explain it to me? Maybe it could answer my questions. I'll be able to see the light. Yes, yes, please go on and ask your questions. I'll explain everything and you'll see for yourself how perfect and right our way really is. How beautiful it can be. Our receival. You get that right? Many worships the devil. Where else do you need? Arrow is hurting the runaways that you bring here. You can see that. I've read Arrow's manifest. It looks like he spends a long time talking about mm. Mm. charity. Okay. I don't know what Glory told you, but the adversary isn't the devil. Calling him that, reducing him to a cartoonish embodiment of evil is an insult. The adversary that I refer is a personification of Berlin conflict and change of anarchy. The fact that you live in Berlin but hold the adversary in contempt proves one of two things. Either you are ignorant or you are ignorant. Mm. From what I've seen here tonight, Glory was right on the mark when she said that the adversary was evil. If anyone here is here, ignorant, it's you. Haru warned us about this kind of backward thinking, but I wasn't expecting to hear it from you. I always assumed that you Shadowrunner was savvy enough to know that good and evil don't exist. Nine times out of ten, I agree with you, but mother, the adversary is a special case. Somewhere deep down, you must know that. I don't have to believe anything you tell me. You don't get to dictate my spiritual beliefs. The fact that you're even trying is sad glory. I expected more from you. I'm done with this. I want to go on slandering the idol that I serve. I do it somewhere else. Uh, as for you, you can either change the subject or get ready for a fight. I won't hear any more of your blasphemy. Mm. Haru is hurting the runaways that we bring here. Mm. I read Haru's manifesto. It looks like he spends a long time talking about charity. Yes, of course, charity, the kind of practice. The kind that I practice when I rescue young people from the street. You have find a definition of charity. No, I mean e it in the same way that anybody would. We provide these runaways with food, shelter, and a sense of purpose. We set them free. If that is in trouble, I don't know what it is. Are is hurting the runaways that you bring here, can't you? You can see that, can't you? Hurting household is corrupting you all. How many of them has he taken as his wife, yourself included? A lesson in Puritan values from a shadow run. How quaint. Not making a value judgment, just an observation. This isn't about you. Uh, sex is a pleasurable functional biology. There's nothing wrong with enjoying it. Harrow is only doing what everyone would do if they could. It's a sign of how twisted society is that you think this is even a problem. Is going to make the units, the young in place like the girl in the next room do something horrible. Her girl, such a sweet young thing, I rescued her from a bad place, glory, her, and the boys in that room as well. But they're all safe now. And isn't that what's important? Are they? You know what I'm talking about, Martha. The harvesting, the meat. It's regrettable, yes, but it happens for a good reason. The sacrifice keep us a fear and safety something that a lot of these kids n have never known. The inmates have to learn how things are done here will over have our responsibilities. Did you have anything else to say? Any other examples of how Halo is being supposedly hurting us to wave in my face? So you do, I'm all ears. I can't promise that you like my response though. There's something else that I'd like to ask you about. Go ahead, I won't stop it. Give us the amulet, Martha. It's the right thing to do. Oh yes, I'll give it to you. Here, it's all yours. Put it on the floor and step back. I don't trust you. Alright, fine. If that's how you want this to go, then so be it. If you 
want this you're going to have to kill me for damn i'm sorry that you came to this murder but you're too far going to be safe if what you want is a fight we'll give you one i didn't want this glory i wish that we could have come out of these friends but you haven't convinced me of anything and i made promise to protect this with my life best of luck with that i only like outside a harrow my husband taught me how see for yourself Okay, I don't want to hurt these kids, man. 12, 11. Boom. Really? Nice. Boom. 13. Boom. 13. Healing, huh? Damn, summoning. Is it gonna... Okay, Ooh, I was like, is it gonna hurt the kids? Neutral, they're running. Boom. Boom. Really? Okay, maybe... Boom. Okay, double. You need the double. Boom, boom. Okay. Lori stands staring at the red ruin of Mars's body. Her eyes fill down to her claws and an expression of growing horror creeps across her face. You okay, Glory? No, I'm not. Well, get your game face back on. We still have her shan to deal with. I'm sorry, but it had to be done. Yes, I know. She was just as bad as I looked. It was the right thing to do. Glory, save the consolation speech. I'm over it. We got what you came here for. Let's go finish this. Yep. Boom. Martha's amulet and we go. Now these kids. You guys are fine? You monster, you killed Martha. It couldn't be helped. How is going to get you, you see? Okay. Nah, we're not the monsters, dudes. Your Martha is crazy. Okay, let's open the door. Okay, as you step forward, the scintillating red light that streams from the doorway flickers and dies. There is a strange lurching sensation you get, but it clears almost instantly. The door swings open with a touch. I seems to have done it. Okay. I'm going to put a smear of this on your forehead. It's a sort of, a, of alchemical bow. Harold taught me how to make it. If you ever wonder where my share of the take from our jobs is gone, this is the answer. Powder or shall I come isn't cheap. What does the ointment do? The boundaries between the material world and the astral plane are weak in this place. Things can bleed through. The bomb is like a lens. It focuses your perceptions, makes the haze real. With this, we can deal with the spirit on its own level. Sounds like a plan to me? That's good, because we don't have another one. This will protect your astral self from your spiritual possession. Don't take it off while we're dealing with the shrine, whatever you do. Got it. I don't know what's going to happen when we step into that room first time. We're playing with forces outside of our control. Are you ready for this? Ready as ever be. At the very beginning of this thing, we both agreed that Harry needs to die. Still wonder. I want to bury my clothes in his belly and pull his entrails out for what he did to me. And to all of the other kids like me. But from what we've seen here tonight, I suspect that Haru isn't the real power here anymore. Explain. I think that when uh, Haru started using his shrine, he yeah, handled the spirit trapped inside of it its keys to the kingdom. A bastard might think that he's in charge here, but he isn't. Not anymore. He's a servant, just like everybody else. The only difference is that he doesn't know it. So you're basing this on what we saw with the initiate. In the fridge, what we heard Martha say about the sacrifice, lots of little things, but they add up. Alright, so, is there a way that we can deal with the shrine without hurting the cultists? Yes, rather than killing the spirit, we can attempt to purify it, that we clear its influence from in their minds without hurting them. Mm, I think that if we purify the spirit, Fuchsia will die, will save all the kids and the nightmares will end. 
if you feel that strong about it, you can shift our focus to rescue the kids instead. This is your run glory. I'm just here to help. Thank you, Fasum. I had to do the wrong thing here. Let's put an end to all of this. We heal the spirit and then the cultists. We send her running and shut this place down. That's the play. And let's do it. Okay. Change your plans, huh? We're saving everyone. Damn. As you approach the shrine, a short voice of five silver and voices fill the air. The sound is light and here, but something about it fills you with a point deep breath. Welcome home, Glory. Glory eyes go wide. She opens her mouth to speak, but no sound is Glory what? Something slams into you, a wave of intelligible thought that turns you con your consciousness inside out and sends shocking waves reverberating through your mind. The world lurches and everything goes black. What the heck just happened? We getting possessed or something? Slowly you begin to steer, murky flickering impressions invade the oily stillness of your unconscious mind. The sensations come in waves, washing up over you and jerking you back toward consciousness. A smell as shit, smoke and burning meat, the roar of distant flames whisper in your ears when your eyes splutter open, a dull red glare fills your vision. As you attempt to struggle to your feet, you become dimly aware that the gravity here feels wrong. Everything is heaven than it should be. Is this the Astro's place? No, where is some... some place else. You're going to have to be more specific. I don't have answers for you, but there's one thing that I'm sure of. Whatever this place is, the adversary holds sway here. If this is the adversary domain, would it not make this hell? No, I don't think that it's as simple as that. But the spirit that we're hunting is going to be here, right? Yes, it should be somewhere. Whoa. Crazy. Whoa. What is this? As you step forward, you find yourself gay aging. The hair in this room is saturated with a slender house smell, a smell like blood and bile and feces, the stench of the abattoir. Up ahead, you catch sight of something sliding into the world. It looks like shared man with a pair of torches placed where its shoulders should be. The thing burns like a Roman cattle. candle. Spitting white hot sparks in a fury plume. An oily substance runs down between his dangling legs and splashes on the floor, and where those drips land, they burn. Behind the creature, a second thing lumbers into view a wall of muscle, sinew, sinew, and burning pitch. The thing arch towards you, leaving a trail of greasy smoke in the wake. Okay. Should have brought the atrich here, not gonna lie. Like, what are those? Like, what are those things? That's insane, man. I think getting getting to cover is our best option here. Yeah. And they are getting to cover as well. Boom. Facing the adversary. Boom. Boom. Double. Done. Boom. Moving in, huh? Boom. And boom. Boom. Come on. Nice. We're good. Okay, more. But these guys are relatively easy to take out. Unless they start doing like crazy damage to us, then that perception will change. Nice. Uh, focus. Maybe not. Cover. Boom. Huh, good to have cover. Damn. Boom. Nice. Now heal. I have magic as well, boys. 
not super insane like our brother we left behind but hey it is something boom boom damn get closer come on get closer boom and boom boom come on missed nice okay healing this guy's gotta chill missed okay boom ah, i can't heal her yet 14. can you do double nice one more please ah. Come on, we shouldn't be struggling against these guys. Okay. Anything grabbable? No, huh? Let's go then. This place is crazy. The thing hovering... <laughs> I think is... Okay. The thing hovering before these videos is broad chest is jacked. I get it in scale uh, like patches of burning coal and it's many sets of handler shimmer with heat it smells like a burn fire wood smoke burning fur and blackening bodies the spirit inclines its head toward glory and spread its arms in welcome glory welcome child what a pleasure it is to see you again okay I know what you were, spirit, before the adversary twisted you, before Harold bound you into this rock. I can help you, you to be that again. All you need to do is let me. We are not in need of help. We are our great master servant, just as Alois, just as you are. Despite your misguided attempt to cut away his love from your heart. You have mangled yourself beyond repair and... You did it to spite him. He who was your greatest benefactor. You betrayed him, child, but he loves you all the same. This adversary sounds like a pretty reasonable guy. Mm -hmm. Your friend, the outsider, jokes at our great mass expense, but we take no offense. His words are like the babble of a newborn babe. He is ignorant to the truth. If the noise continues, we will educate him, and the babble will cease. Don't. A message for you from our great master. He has a gift for you, a peace offering, one and that he offers freely, a sign of his continued affection to you. Okay, he knows that you desire seven distraction as <coughs> as a symbol of his love. He will grant you his part to begin to be. To bring a hand to Harold. He knows that you wish to free the children of Estelle as a sign of his compassion. He will help you set them free. You can have everything that you want, child. All of this and more. What's the catch? All that he requires of you is that show of good faith. Remove the protective word from your neck and his gift is yours for the taking. Yours forever. I don't think so, Spirit. We came here to rescue the children of Versailles. That's what we're going to do. How do we know that you'll keep your word? It won't. This is a trick. Whatever you do, don't take off that necklace. The outsider may do whatever he wishes. He will not interfere with him unless he provokes us. Mm. Our great master's offer, offer was to you, child, accept and everything that you desire will be yours. Add my own limbs. Hacked off to get away from the adversary. A pace I'm ready to do it, that's all. Badly, I wanted to be free from your great master. Your offer is a pathetic, as it was predictable. To be frank, I'm disappointed in you. If you rebuke our great master a second time, I will chew what's left of you into mulch. Uh, marrow from your bones will nourish the garden. I promise you this, child, I promise you. Mm. Okay. I'm not sure how this works in adversary land, but where I'm from, this will be considered a hard sell. Your friend will remain here, I think, with me. I can find all men of uses with such a sickle and morsel. 
prosper or perish, the choice is yours. Embrace his love and have all of your wishes granted or turn away from it and be destroyed. I have a better idea. We're going to purify your spirit and after we finish, you will help us rescue those kids. It's time that everyone stops suffering. Let's do this. Far past time. Let's do this. Very well, child. If pain is what you seek, we'll bring it to you. Okay. Death comes in many forms, child. Yours will be swiftly and brutal. Okay. We're taking this guy out. Boom. So, dude is just gonna be disappearing? Missed. Okay, he has his friends. Cover them. Uh, focus. This guy's like one shot. Boom. Flanked? Flanked? Hmm. Ah, let's let's just do it. Nice. Blocked. Blocked. Boom. Really? Boom. Boom. Come on, man. Really? There's so many. I don't... I don't know about this, man. I gotta heal. One... you telling me I healed like one HP? I'm gonna go with the double. Oh man. At least we're blocking some. Boom. Boom. I got my sniper rifle in here. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Boom. missed so basically we need to find the real one mm. this guy nope this guy nope it's that guy perhaps this boom boom eight make sure I find the real one this guy yeah we found him double boom boom let's go weekend the spirit spawn flickers and sparks the burning coals that cling to its body fall off in clumps and its searing handlers begin to cool the shores of lifting voices wobble in shrieks as its body runs morgrifies into something else Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and run, you fucking coward. Run back to the real world and whatever hole you crawled out of will catch you. There is Harold. I don't think so. You don't even and know where the real me is, Glory. Oh, don't worry, we'll find you. We're good at that sort of thing. Live whatever you like, fool. It won't do you any good. Years from now, I'll still be doing what I do and you will have accomplished nothing. <laughs> Go ahead, Arrow. Try to set up another cult. You won't get far before I hunt you down. You know better than that, but nothing makes me happier than the sound of you lying to yourself. Goodbye, Glory. Run, coward. Run far, far away. We'll find you. Hmm. Okay, it's back to normal. What, what has happened to us? What have we done? Aside from wrapping children into monstrous girls, you mean? Okay, pleasant to think about, isn't it? But you have to spirit, you can't run from what you've done. Your actions are part of you, whether you like it or not. Okay, listen to me, spirit, I need your help. We're here to rescue the closest of fair stealth. The sweet kids whose mind you touched. 
for getting them out of here before the adversary can do the, what he did to you. Yes, we will help you. Good. Now get out of those kids' minds. We already have done so. The courses of Ferris are themselves again. We wish you to do more. We have much to atone for, as you said. Go ahead, we won't stop you. No, but the stone will. We are still bound to this shrine. And anchored here, we can do nothing without your help. Tell us what you need us to do. We need an appropriate vessel to carry out area out of the rock, something touched by magic, but more dead than alive. Mm. Do you have anything that can help us? Uh, yes, I think that I do. But I dear glory, I don't trust the thing. Go ahead, if this thing wants us help, I don't see why you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Glory, are you okay? I, I can feel the spirit is bound to me. So what does that mean for us? Can the spirit help us like it said? See for yourself. It wants to help people, to heal them. It wants redemption. Just like I do together, maybe we will. Time to go. With the spirits linked to the adversary served, this entire reality is falling apart. See you in the real world, glory. Yeah, I'll see you there. And we're back. Did she get like a crazy power up now? Everyone's getting power ups. This is insane. You can feel them. The spirits set them free, but they're trapped somewhere here in the complex. The inmates, you mean? Yes, and others. We need to find them and get out of here. The connection between this compound and whatever, whatever we were is breaking down. As the place disintegrates, more and more things are spilling through. Like rats fleeing a sinking ship. Yeah, and it's only a matter of time before still is consumed too. Look in the corner there. You can already see it happening. I'll take your word for it. Let's move. Okay. Need to get out of here. ASAP. Damn. It's all going out. I can't get through this door? Come on. Clear the rubble. Boom. There they are. As you kick the door open and stumble toward the room, you find yourself surrounded by a sea of teenage faces. Glory, is is that you? You don't me, but I was a new inmate back when you lived here. When you were... Yes, it's me. Come on. We're taking you to safety, sir. Please, far away from here. What happened to you? Your harms. Something that you never need to worry about. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Couldn't have put it better myself. Come on, people. We're taking you someplace safe. Let's go. Everybody's safe. <sighs> but hardly though. I tread your way through the trees of the shore, but forest tracing your way back to the thickest where you and Glory hit the fan. The inferno that consumed her still spreading and the conflagration cast the forest around you in a sinister orange light. The heat at your back is intense and bearable fire ahead Glory places a trail for you to follow. Shredding the foliage in a path, the liberated initiates stutter on the edge of panic as they struggle to keep peace behind you. The fire is moving fast, but you're fast as Glory helps the last of the kids into the van. You put the vehicle in gear and punch the accelerator. The marine ruin of stealth recedes into the distance, a glowing speck in the rear view mirror. The peace and safety of the cross bazaar lie ahead. 